Ad Blocker Ultimate, Grease Fire, Grease Monkey, Imagus, Light Beam, and Nimbus Screen Capture. These are my top Firefox extensions, so now let's go through a brief overview of each of them. Now having Adblocker Ultimate as my first one is probably a little bit controversial because I'm a content creator technically, so I shouldn't really be all for blocking ads. But if I'm completely honest, you just there's, there's just something about blocking ads on a page. So for example, if we disable Adblock and go back to the BBC website where I know for a fact it has ads on it, you can just see how intrusive they are and how annoying they are. I get it that you know some sites need it to get money and make a living, but for casual internet browsing, I really don't see the harm. If people are going to want to block ads, they're going to use Adblocker. There's no real way around it, to be honest. So Adblock is my first one. Secondly, we've got Grease Monkey. This is basically a way to install custom scripts within Firefox, essentially allowing you to hack it and make any feature you want really happen. However, please know that you can't really just go ahead and browse through like an iTunes catalog of scripts. You have to go through forums and communities that have built apps rather than having a detailed catalog. This is good and bad because it feels like there's a whole hacking community on Firefox. Well, not really hacking, but a customization one, so to speak. And it's just a good way to find all these hidden tweaks within Firefox that allows the functionality to excel that little bit more. Grease Fire is basically an add-on to Grease Monkey which allows you to automatically find these scripts on certain pages. And that's all there is to that one. Next is the Imagus extension. This is probably my most used extension because it's just so discreet and helpful. The best example to show you here is to open up YouTube. And you can actually just hover over any thumbnail and it will expand it to its true size. Not that you need this, it's just an example of what Imagus does. So say for example you're on an image heavy website the images aren't quite big enough, you can just hover over it and it will pull the image source and display it in its true form. This next one, Lightbeam, is for the more security and privacy conscious people out there. So say for example you go to a website to buy a car, in this example we're going to use AutoTrader, you're actually able to see all the websites that are tracking you, whether this is for malicious intent or just to target you with ads. So we're now on AutoTrader, if we click on the light beam icon at the top right of the screen, you can actually see all of the tracked sites attached to this website. These will be just marketing companies trying to get all your information, all the sites that you visit, just to collate a detailed profile of you to then use to target ads and basically just be a general nuisance, which is all the more reason to probably use Adblock, but again, I shouldn't really advocate that, but I do. So. It displays it in a quite a cool graph, so you can see here the centerpieces are the main websites that you intend to visit, and the branches are all of the icons of sites that are actually attached, whether it's for tracking or just malicious intent. I doubt you'll see it many malicious ones, but it's mainly just websites tracking your every move just to see which websites you jump from. So if a website picks up that you go from transport to a different car sales website to you know searching your local area it will pick up the fact that you're based in this town you're looking for this specific car and you're looking for this specific color of car it's actually pretty scary if you think about it but that's just the way that the internet goes you're pretty much being tracked wherever you go online and it's used for advertising and sometimes even malicious purposes so this is just a good way to keep an eye on things again this is called lightbeam and for the final extension of this video, we have Nimbus Screen Capture. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. This is an easy way to capture any image you like on any single site with a click of a button. Forget your dodgy print screens with copy and paste into paint. Just go to the Nimbus icon at the top right, select an area, drag the field, let go, and then you can save this wherever you want. There are various options for capturing, whether or not you want to capture the whole page, a selected area, the entire page, the blank screen, and it even gives you a link to download it if you have an Android. I'm not too sure if this is available on iOS yet, but yeah, this is just for Firefox, so it's not really applicable. You can also change some screenshot settings. This will allow you to choose between JPEG and PNG. You can also adjust the image quality. So that's all there really is to Nimbus. Just allows you to create screenshots in a much easier and effective way.
There we go, that covers all my Firefox add-ons, except one last one. This one's called Black Fox. Long story short, it's just a theme that makes your Firefox a dark black theme. It's not for everyone, but I like it. If you have any questions about any of the extensions you've seen in this video, please leave me a comment and I'll do my best to reply to you. All links are in the description to download these extensions. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with another YouTube video. Thanks a lot.